Hello, and welcome to Elevator Pitch Series for the Radiographer. I am Michael, and this is the fourth video in the series on radiographic imaging. In this video, we'll be learning about recorded detail. We'll be finding out what it is, the types of unsharpness, and the factors affecting recorded detail. Recorded detail is basically the degree of clarity or sharpness with which structures are recorded on a radiographic image. In your textbooks, you'll find other terms that are sort of synonymous to recorded detail. These terms include sharpness, definition, and resolution. However, we must take note that resolution is not an exact synonym of recorded detail or sharpness. Rather, resolution helps to quantify the amount of recorded detail on an image. By quantify, I mean it gives a numeric value to the amount of recorded detail an image has. A more standard definition of resolution is the ability of an imaging system to record closely spaced structures as separate entities, and it is measured in line pairs per millimeter, using a device known as a line pair phantom. Now, these terms sharpness, detail, resolution, or definition are not new terms. They are a part of our everyday lives. You're most likely watching this video on YouTube. YouTube, like many other video websites, provides an option to select the picture quality you want your video to have. This is measured in pixels and usually ranges from 144p to 1080p. In actuality, this controls the resolution of the video you are watching. By selecting the high value of 1080, the video has much sharper images, and by selecting the low value of 144, a blurry image is produced. This is the same way certain factors in radiography would affect an image, making it to either be a sharp image with high recorded detail, or a blurry image with low recorded detail. Before we go any further, we need to have an understanding of the term, unsharpness. Unsharpness is the opposite of recorded detail or sharpness. It is the degree of loss of detail or sharpness present on a radiographic image. Take note that, every radiographic image has some degree of unsharpness. There are three common types of unsharpness, these include, geometric, movement, and photographic unsharpness. Let us look at how these types of unsharpness are involved with the factors that affect recorded detail. That takes us to the factors affecting recorded detail. First is motion. Have you ever tried taking a photograph of a child that wouldn't stay still? You would most likely get a blurry image. This is the same effect that motion has on a radiographic image. Motion is known to severely degrade the recorded detail on a radiographic image, and the type of unsharpness associated with motion is movement unsharpness. There are three common types of movement unsharpness. First, unsharpness due to voluntary patient movement. This occurs in uncooperative patients or in patients who have not been sufficiently instructed on the need to stay still for a radiograph. This is best addressed by giving the necessary instructions and utilizing appropriate immobilization methods. The second is unsharpness due to involuntary patient movement. There are parts of the body which move without our control. The heartbeat and bowel movements are examples of this. Unsharpness due to these movements can be prevented by taking advantage of the reciprocity law. The exposure time, S, is reduced, and the MA increased to arrive at the same density. With shorter exposure time, the image can be acquired before a movement disrupts the detail. Another common type of movement unsharpness is that due to equipment movement. An unsteady tube can move slightly during an examination, causing blurring. This is why the radiographer must ensure the tube is locked in place before proceeding to acquire the image. The next factor affecting recorded detail is distance. The two types of distance that affect the recorded detail are the object image distance and the source image distance. The object image distance or OID for short, is the distance between the anatomical part and the image receptor. The closer the anatomical part is to the image receptor, the greater the recorded detail. As for the source image distance, SID, it is the distance between the X-ray tube and the image receptor. The farther the X-ray tube is from the image receptor, the greater the recorded detail. This implies that a too great OID and a too small SID would produce unsharpness. This type of unsharpness is called geometric unsharpness. Let us explain this a bit further. Imagine that this is the X-ray tube, and this is the image receptor. Let us place this anatomical part on the image receptor. This part is in nearly complete contact with the image receptor. Remember the X-ray beam is divergent, however, because the anatomical part is very close to the image receptor, the beam does not diverge further. This produces a relatively unmagnified image with little or no geometric unsharpness. On the other hand, if the anatomical part is kept at some distance from the image receptor, 
This introduced object image distance will give the X-ray beam an opportunity to continue to diverge until it eventually reaches the image receptor. This produces an image that is larger than the object, a magnified image, and with magnification comes geometric unsharpness because the sharp edges of the image structures are now represented as larger, blurrier edges. However, increasing the SID would compensate for magnification that occurs due to a large OID. This is why projections like the lateral cervical spine X-rays, which introduce distance between the neck and the image receptor, are performed with an increased SID. This compensates and prevents geometric unsharpness. The next factor affecting recorded detail is the focal spot size. While we will learn more about the focal spot in future, take note for now that the focal spot is a tiny spot on the anode where X-ray photons are produced. The smaller this spot is, the greater the recorded detail produced. As the focal spot size increases, what is known as a penumbra effect occurs. A penumbra effect is a shadow-like area of unsharpness around the edges of the image. This is also a form of geometric unsharpness. We have learned how increased focal spot size, increased object image distance, and decreased source image distance diminish the recorded detail by introducing geometric unsharpness. The total amount of geometric unsharpness occurring due to these three factors can be estimated using this formula. Geometric unsharpness is equal to the focal spot size times the OID, divided by the source object distance. The term source object distance is a derivative of the SID, we will learn about it in the next video. The next factor affecting the recorded detail is the use of intensifying screens. As you may have heard in previous videos, this applies only to film screen radiography. Intensifying screens have a multiplier effect on photon production. They absorb incoming X-ray photons and produce multiple light photons per X-ray photon striking the screen. The intensifying screen is made of multiple components which we will explore in future. However, we must mention that the component which performs this job of producing multiple photons is the phosphor layer. The phosphors of an intensifying screen absorbs X-ray photons, converts them to a greater quantity of light photons, to which the X-ray film is also sensitive. This gives a great radiographic density with little exposure. However, these phosphors exhibit a property called diffusion. Some of the generated light photons diffuse out of the phosphor, and this would cause blur. Great phosphor size, associated with high-speed intensifying screens, produce greater diffusion and by extension, greater blur. This observed blur is a form of photographic unsharpness. Another cause of photographic unsharpness is damaged cassettes. When a cassette is damaged, there is poor contact between the intensifying screen and the film, this space allows diffusion of light to occur and produces photographic unsharpness. Earlier in this video, we stated that every radiographic image possesses some degree of unsharpness. Let us conclude by explaining what that means. The three sources of unsharpness are linked in a certain manner. In a bid to control one, the other pops up. For example, in the case of an uncooperative patient, the radiographer can opt to control movement unsharpness by using a fast intensifying screen. This might solve the issue of movement, but will inevitably produce an increased photographic unsharpness due to the larger phosphor size of fast intensifying screens. Also, trying to avoid geometric unsharpness by using a small focal spot will almost always require you to increase the exposure time, making it more likely for movement unsharpness to occur. This cycle goes on and on. It explains why no image can be 100% unsharpness free. The radiographer must however, ensure unsharpness is reduced to the lowest level possible. That concludes this video on recorded detail. We look forward to your questions and comments in the comments section or via email. If you love this video and would want more content, please subscribe and share with your colleagues. Until next time, do enjoy the learning process and take care.